This is Witchbase News for Friday the 25th of October 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the bombshell from Frontier ...what happens now ...the scourge reaches the next stage ...and we'll have a sprinkling of highlights from the community. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on Discord and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So the top story this week obviously has been the bombshell that Frontier dropped on Wednesday announcing that following the difficult launch of the September update to the game they're going to delay fleet carriers again this time for a further 6 to 9 months whilst they instead focus on fixes, patches and public beaters. It's been fairly obvious to most commanders for some time that the game was very wobbly in places ...of course it depends on what you predominantly do in the game as to how the wobbles affect you personally ...but following September it certainly felt like perhaps the core of the game could use a fair bit of love and adding something like carriers and indeed whatever the 2020 paid update is will stand a better chance of succeeding if the foundation is stronger. What I'm about to say is somewhat speculatory but when the Enclave Interstellar initiative ended a few months back with the withdrawal of the Thargoid forces from the bubble it felt like the war would be entering a new phase. The most obvious entry point for that new phase was December with the launch of carriers. Now that update isn't happening I'm left wondering what happens to the gameplay that surrounded the Thargoid invasion. There is a whole community of commanders represented by organisations like the Hive or the AXI whose entire gameplay was pretty much devoted to pushing back the Thargoids. While there are still static Thargoid encounters the dynamic weekly back and forth of the conflict has gone. Likewise there was a blossoming community of commanders dedicated to rescue operations at the stations left burning by Thargoid attack. They've had nothing to do on that front since August. The guys at Operation Ida are continuing to repair the stations that have been left damaged and there's plenty for them to be getting on with but with the apparent halt in the Thargoid advance we are left wondering if we'll ever see a return of those compelling gameplay arcs before June next year or indeed after. Frontier have been a little more communicative of late which is really good to see. For me personally I'd like to see them flesh out a little more detail in the situation with the game from now until June and whether we'll see the Thargoids in particular return and whether the delayed timetable for fleet carriers is expected to have a knock on impact on the timetable for the 2020 paid update. The Scourge Interstellar Initiative continued apace this week with the revelation that at this stage at least the blight on galactic food stocks was caused not by some dark cabal of background puppet masters or a new front opening in the Thargoid War as the green meanies attempt to win back some ground with a war of attrition starving us of food. It was instead caused by some angry hippies who were still furious at their stocks of onion head being carpet bombed by the Federation 4 years ago. Which leads me to an interesting question that's been bubbling under my psyche for the last couple of initiatives. I really enjoy the initiatives. I get that they're essentially a redressing of the community goal format and the extra layer of narrative is most welcome. It leads to a bit more depth and therefore a bit more of a reason to participate but I can't help feeling that they are in danger of becoming too inconsequential. When the Scourge initiative first started the tinfoil hat talk went nuts trying to figure out who or what was behind this extremely effective and clearly obvious attack on the bubble and its way of life. But then when it was revealed who was behind the attack I have to admit to feeling a degree of disappointment. The first initiative, Bridging the Gap, introduced a ferry service that once a week will move you to or from Guardian Space via the Thursday server bounce. Kind of a cute idea but Guardian Space isn't that far away these days so honestly the ferry service is of dubious worth if it's going once a week. Once a day that's useful. Once a week? No. I've already moved on. I'm curious is it just me or have you used it since its inception? I've been to Guardian Space since but it didn't even occur to me to take the ferry and when I did go I didn't specifically want to go and return on a Thursday. So I figured Frontier must have had a plan right? 
they must have had a need to get players with limited jump range down to Guardian Space for some reason that will be revealed next month. At this stage it doesn't look like that's the case. Moving on to the Enclave. Brilliant. Thargoids. New bubble established but it's attacked. Humanity responds with aplomb and we get the Thargoid threat mostly driven from the Witch Head Nebula and repair the stations that were damaged. An amazing community effort. But is the Enclave actually useful for anything now? I figured it's much closer to Barnard's loop. It's a staging post for a push into that zone probably utilising our carriers in December are we? Ok moving on. The Scourge. The Thargoid or the Thargod cult are trying to starve us out and then a speculative attack on Sol in December. You can see where I'm going here. If you go and see a movie and it all builds to an exciting conclusion but in actual fact there is no conclusion or the end result of the movie was just mundane you're not generally inclined to return for a sequel. Interstellar initiatives are a brilliant idea but they're starting to feel like they may just be conclusion devoid movies. Whilst the scourge hasn't yet concluded it's in danger of leaving me feeling a little disappointed if it doesn't lead to a bigger story. Or am I being a bit premature here? Is this all part of a much larger narrative and we just can't see the mysterious machinations of Frontier's story weaving tapestry yet? What's your feeling? I'd love to hear your views. As a quick aside there is a decal available for participation in the current initiative. Just go and dock at one of the stations listed in the forum post linked below. And now a quick burst of community news. The Fatherhood's Lost Souls 2 expedition launches tomorrow from the bubble and will be out in the black until April next year. Sprint over to the links below if you want to sign up. On the subject of expeditions Commander the Demon Wolf has announced the Spooky Space Spectacular expedition which is a series of small outings to some of the creepier places in and around the bubble in the lead up to Halloween. The expeditions cross all platforms have a very low barrier to entry ship wise and need just 2-3 hours of gameplay over each of the 4 days that it runs for kicking off on the 27th of October and running until the 30th of October. Links are below to get you signed up. And finally Commander Exorcist who is one of the media managers for the SPVFA Stellar Photography Group released the latest of his YouTube video explorations of Elite Dangerous this week. In his series entitled Out There the commander features the discoveries he's made in fantastic footage set to a very chilled musical soundtrack. We're big fans of his, he has been and continues to be one of Commander Rini's biggest inspirations for her stellar photography work. You can follow him on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and his YouTube videos are always a regular on the Burr Pits must watch list. Do please give him a look and a sub, his work is simply stunning. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.